previously on Libel the Bible. The Hebrews have been enslaved by Egypt for hundreds of years following the death of Joseph's Pharaoh. Fearing the rate at which the Hebrew population is increasing, the Pharaoh decrees that all newborn Hebrew sons be drowned in the Nile. In an attempt to save her son, one mother places him among the reeds of the Nile, where he is discovered by Pharaoh's daughter and brought into the palace to be raised as her own. Now grown, Moses murders an Egyptian for mistreating Hebrews. After 40 years in hiding in Midian, God appears to Moses in a burning bush and tells him to return to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to free the Hebrews. God changes his mind and decides to kill Moses. Moses' wife performs an emergency circumcision on their son and stops God from killing Moses. Moses meets with his brother Aaron and they show the Hebrew elders the miracles God has taught them. And now, episode 13 of Libel the Bible. Hey everybody, this is Scott. <laughs> I didn't know I was recording with Snuffleupagus today. <laughs> it's rusty. And welcome to Libel the Bible. Yeah, just uh, to give you an inside uh, look. This is like our fifth attempt at starting the show. We've, we've started the show mm. four times. Maybe three, four, whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. we've gotten like two, three, four minutes in and a few episodes and just stopped. Yeah. Um, we had to stop it for different reasons each time. Yeah. We're just, I don't know. We're not feeling very high energy today. So we well, let me, give, let me get, give an example why though. Like when Rusty first got here, he just started beating the hell out of me talking about everything I'm doing wrong on this podcast. Now I am the one that needs to improve and I need, and so... You know, I tried to shake it off. I tried to, you know, you know, not not let it affect me. But I definitely took. So I had to cancel that first recording. Man, it was a no lot of things man. wrong, Scott. I, I, hey, listen, according to you, yes, there is, and you know, it's just a, sometimes I just feel like I'm like Ed McMahon, and you're like Johnny Carson, and like stay in your lane, Scott. Yeah. I know what my lane is. <laughs> Learn your lane. Yeah, apparently, you're in the fast lane. And I'm just your lane. I'm on the on the breakdown on shoulder. The right, yeah, <laughs> you're approaching it for sure. Um, so I'm half a glass of wine in now because at the, like the third recording, I popped the bottle. Yeah, you so, guys missed the whole popping sound. Yeah. So what am I drinking tonight? I'm drinking a, a 19 Crimes, the Warden. It's a, it's a red red mix. Just a red mix? Yeah. Merlot. Yeah, it's, it's a, I don't know what the exact... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a mix, man. It's pretty good. I like this All one. Right. Um, so today we're doing episode 13, Unlucky 13, as that's, it's turning out. That's maybe, yeah. Maybe that's, that's a big problem. Is the number 13 brought up in the Bible anywhere? Do we know? Is that going to be on the revelations? Like, why 13 is an unlucky number? Well, there was Genesis 13. There's going to be Exodus 13. There's going to be Deuteronomy 13. All right, you know what I mean, man. I mean, specifically, but... Oh, uh, I don't know. No, like I haven't, we haven't come across, if no. 13 has been mentioned as being unlucky. No, it hasn't been, but I know you, I know you have insight into the future. So I'm just wondering if, well, it's I'm not... going to be on the lookout for it. I'm going to be on the lookout for it. Yes, if by prior knowledge, <laughs> you, if insight means prior knowledge from reading. You know, and, and how dare me ask you that after I give you so much shit for reading ahead? Like if you gave me that, that was, I just set you up. That's what that was. If you had said yes. And you knew about it coming, I'd been mad at you. So you couldn't have won that. that oh, that's bad. what you're doing. No, you're, I didn't realize I was doing You're like teeing yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um, well, thank you for that heads up. I'm gonna yeah. keep out I'm gonna keep an eye out for yeah, that. Yeah, unlike you, I like to tell you like my my, my my devious things I'm doing. Not spending an entire week away from me, coming up with all the reasons why I'm the reason this podcast isn't it re- meeting your expectations. So it sounds like I did tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I have no problem telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got a week to think about it, though. Um, what are we doing today? Exodus 5 through 8. Exodus 5 through 8, yes. And when I got to the end of 8, I was like, oh, I actually wanted to read more, which yeah. I got to tell you, that, that really has not been the case. That for has not been the case. No, so because, you're liking Exodus more than Genesis. Um, Yeah, I think I think this is a more like a, a, a so far. I mean, we're only, this is only our sep- second episode of Exodus. It seems like it's a more... Like a fluent story, like an arc or so much. It's like not right. individual 
goofy right. stories. And this, uh, we're going to end in, in the middle of like, this I think should be our first two-parter, man. First two-parter. All right. Well, I mean, there's a reason they made a movie out of Exodus and Whoa, not so they much didn't? Genesis. Yeah, we've talked about this. The Ten Commandments. Oh, oh right. right, right, right it's going to be right, on like right, in a right, month right. No, or no, two no, I got it. Or yeah, so. I got it. Um, so Exodus 5 starts right after uh, Aaron and Moses' meeting with the elders where they show the elders to, in order to prove God's existence. Uh, they show the elders the tricks that God has told him to show the stick turning into a snake. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they showed him or the, the if they showed the thing. elders, the, well, I'm sure they showed the hand, right. Turning like white or whatever. They probably did not turn, uh, the river into blood. Right. No, that didn't happen yet, man. Now, man. What the hell? Spoiler. That was one of the things that God showed Moses. Not yet. Did yes. He? No, he did. Well, he didn't show him, but he told them like right. that was going to happen. Oh, okay. Right. So what I'm saying is, they, I'm assuming the they alert. didn't do that. Yeah, no spoiler alert. Right. So now, no, then people would be onto that. They'd be like, "What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> so now it's time for Moses and Aaron to go to the Pharaoh. Yeah. So they go to the Pharaoh and they start talking this stuff about uh, the one God Almighty sent us. And Pharaoh was like, I, "Who is that? I don't know who that God is. Yeah. What's his name? WYSIWYG? Like, what's what? <laughs> he's got like a special name, right? It's like showing up to your boss and being like, "Yo, we ran into some aliens, and the aliens <laughs> like have a few requests. It, this, this ain't us talking. <laughs> this, this is like the aliens." And they, they and they were like, Aaron was like, "Yo, and if you don't let us go do this ritual in the woods, yeah. the aliens are gonna like fire torpedoes. Uh, yeah, no, or something. right. They're <laughs> like sitting." right outside the atmosphere <laughs> and if we don't get to go to Coachella like they are going to be super angry so now did he was that ad-libbed based on Pharaoh's reaction because we didn't hear that God said like I'm going to mess you guys up if you don't get this done well I don't know maybe we both missed it maybe we nah, both like I overlooked I, that I think he thought he was going to curry some like uh, no now uh, that I think about it I'm pretty sure in the conversations that God was having with Moses God did mention like you know, I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart. Yeah. You know? And then, like, I'm going to fuck some shit up, like, when he refuses. So I'm pretty sure they know that God is intending to fuck up Pharaoh because God told no, no, Moses. He's no, he's talking about God's going to fuck up the Hebrews if they don't get this done. Oh. He, they're telling Pharaoh, like, trying to, like, curry sympathy from him. Oh. And if I'm Pharaoh, I'm like, well, why? That's not, that sounds like a Jew problem. A, a you problem. I'm did, sorry. Did he specifically say they're going to fuck up the Hebrews or, like, well, he said or, that it, like, everyone? No, no, he's, well, he said God's going to fall people, upon us right? with pestilence or sword. Right. Uh, upon us. I don't think he meant the Hebrews. He meant everybody. Oh, so now he's appealing to the Pharaoh, like, hey, we're all and the same actually, people. And actually, once we get to, like... We're going to get to some plagues today. And so once we get to like a certain plague, it's going to specify that that plague did not hit the Hebrews, right, whereas right. the other ones apparently did. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. So yeah. So he's telling Pharaoh like, God's going to fuck everyone up. Okay. All right. That's cool. Um, and Pharaoh's like, yeah, get back to work. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Pharaoh's like, he ain't my God. Uh, I don't even believe in this God. And he gets very angry. Yeah, so the slavery is not enough. Yeah. So he tells the taskmasters to tell the supervisors. And after uh, reading more of it, the taskmasters were obviously Egyptians. And the supervisors were like the, uh, I guess, the kiss-ass Hebrews. Like they were, the, they, they were supervisors <laughs> of them, their own people. Well, yeah, even during the Holocaust, by the way, like the Nazis would hire um, Jews who were like the cops in the ghetto to maintain like order. Yeah, I wonder how those people were received. Not well. I'm sure. <laughs> Not well at all. Like I saw, you remember V, the miniseries? No. I never. I was never a fan of V. The, the mm -hmm. premise was awesome, yeah. but it was like a cheesy 80s show, and I recognized that even as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Well, they basically did the same thing. They hired like humans to supervise the humans, and it wasn't, didn't, didn't go well for most yeah. of them. You think the Nazis got that premise? Like, you think Adolf Hitler watched V, and he was like, that is what we shall do? That's, that's a pretty good... Dude, man, your foreign accents are yeah, getting, it's better. getting better. That's right? pretty good. You did. Yeah, nice. All right. Um, so, yeah, and, 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 he, and he flips out. He goes, they're freaking lazy. Let's give them more work. So, apparently, they like to make bricks, right? Like, they make a lot of bricks. Yeah. <laughs> I they're, mean, they're building houses and shit. a building shit. boom going on. Building the pyramids. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Actually, yeah. um, it's been, I think, I'm, I think I've read numerous articles where it's disproven 
that it was the Hebrews who were used as, or slave labor was used to build the pyramids. You think like it was I, good union jobs? It seems like, yes, it seems like those were set aside for like paid labor. Do you think it was a jobs program? Like a... Like a like a international highway program, like in America or something. Oh no! It was like if Trump, you think it was just like imagine if Trump was Pharaoh. <laughs> imagine the monuments uh, that you. would be right, built. Right, right. You I know what you. I mean? I gotcha. Yeah. I think yeah, because only the big swinging dicks got the big. Yeah, big pyramids, that's right? what it was for, yeah. man. Yeah, it right. was for those guys. Yeah. All right. It wasn't that out of benevolence for the people. So apparently they make bricks using straw as the uh, the thing that holds I, the bricks. So together. I read about this. So you you put straw. It, and you mix it in with the mud and it's a cheap way and it's a sturdy way to build certain housing and okay. um especially in a desert environment because it keeps like the inside cool nice so so straw was a material do you think part of our expanding like uh what we're doing here like we, after we do the movies and all this other stuff like maybe we can like try and like build our own bricks based on biblical specs like we can uh, like try it out See what it's like. That's a weird, like, thing that that's... Let's do it like the Bible does. That's what we're going to do. Well, it's the first time we're talking about manufacturing something, so... Like, you didn't ask this about Noah's Ark. Like, I would think, like, if you're going to build something, build Noah's Ark. Well, somebody in Iowa just did that. Or they have, like... A, yeah, they they like have, that. like, one of those, like, dude, creationist, dude, dude, like... that thing's huge. Yeah, it's It's massive. like lots of cubits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we put that thing here. <laughs> and it's still nowhere as big as like the Titanic or yeah. or like modern day cruise yeah, ships. Of course not, no. It's as big as it was, there's no way you could fit two of every animal. Were there giraffes back then? Were there giraffes yeah, back then? I'm thinking like 5,000 like, years ago? Yeah. Yeah, there were giraffes. Uh -huh. All right. We, what kind of question? You think giraffes have only evolved over the last 5,000 years? What's, what's this evolution you talk of? <laughs> Who said anything about that? Like, how did the brontosaurus fit on, on the ark? Like, that would take up the whole ark. Well, now you're just asking uh, reasonable. Right, this, we, we, you're asking reasonable questions. We are, we are looking backwards. We should be looking less backwards. Okay. So the pharaoh's all like, these people are fucking lazy. Right? So here's what he says. He says, they are lazy. That is why they cry. Let us go and offer sacrifice to our God. Let heavy work be laid on them. Then they, they will... They want to go gold bricking. Then they will labor at it and pay no attention to deceptive words. So, we were talking about the Nazis earlier. Mm -hmm. um, entering the gates at Auschwitz was mm -hmm. a sign that read... Arbet mach frei, which means work sets you free. Mm, propaganda, right from the... Yeah. So that's basically, he's like telling uh, his foreman, put them to work so that they don't like worry about these deceptive words that they're hearing, mm. you know? Like Moses and Aaron telling them about like freedom and a God. He's yeah, like, work their asses off. Yeah, yeah. Make get them time. get their own straw. Don't give them straw and keep the same quota. Yeah, which is apparently straw isn't easy to come by, so they must have stockpiles of it, or like maybe paid laborers actually, you know, you know, union laborers got the no. Straw. I'm assuming it wasn't even like processed yet. They probably had to go and like get straw wherever straw is like collected. Well, that's what I'm saying. So like it was collected for them previously, right? And now it won't be not at all, right? So now they're like. Okay, go find your own straw. And a lot of these people are probably like, I don't know where to find straw. Yeah. It was always provided for it, me. It's going to be like Age of Empires where you like select one character. He's got to go off into the woods. He's got to like chop down the tree. He's then, got to get bring it back. And then if you didn't research loom to toughen up the clothing, like one wolf could kill that dude. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, terrible. It's awful. So you always got to send two people into the woods. To chop so them. yeah, so this is the situation that the Hebrews are in. And of course, they start. Missing their quotas. They're yeah, not like, like hitting their quotas. Like, of yeah. course, immediately. Um, so they bring in the supervisors, which are the taskmasters bring the... And they start beating them. Like, how did you how did you miss your quota? Like, being an asshole is one thing. Like, you have to understand there's a cause and effect there. Right. Like, you... Come on. So after like a while of this, like one of the foremen or whatever, who's a Hebrew, he's a Hebrew foreman, yeah. he gets tired of this. And he goes to the Pharaoh because apparently anybody can get an audience with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is so busy, he could see like a random Hebrew foreman. 
And the form- I'm sure you, I'm sure you took pleasure in it. Like, fact, oh, you like having these guys come up and complain to him? That's true. <laughs> He's like a sadist, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the foreman goes and he complains. He's like, bro, like, we're being beaten. It's impossible to, you know, and the pharaoh's like one of these, like, hm, you're going to have to do more with less kind of, like, guys, yeah. you know? Oh, you know what he is? He's that woman that took, so, took over the Cleveland Indians in Major League. <laughs> And she's still she was the looking place. for them to fail. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the Pharaoh isn't hearing this guy. He's like, I don't give a fuck. You're going to keep getting beaten. You're going to keep, you know, being made to work like this. So the guy's leaving the palace. And who should he run into on his way out? Moses and Aaron. <laughs> yeah. And what's he tell them? Well, after he notices how there's no dirt under their fingernails, their feet are clean, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and Aaron's, Aaron's Moses' brother, right? Well, look, in all fairness, Moses does deserve to live a life like this because, after all, he is a murderer. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, this guy's actually, like, earning a living. Like, he's a foreman. Like, he's working hard. And he's being treated like shit. Moses was basically a baby fugitive, right? Yeah. yeah. Who grew into a murderer fugitive mm-hmm. and now has come back talking nonsense about speaking with God but yet he's like in the finest linens. He's the one that's going to organize the work for yeah. us. So the foreman Please. sees him and... And uh, he goes to... Like, what was it going? Yo, dude, man, you just made so much shit so much shit worse for us. Like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, he basically like curses out Moses. Yeah, and Aaron. He's like, you not are not making happy. shit really fucking bad for us. Yeah, yeah. So I guess Moses and Aaron then have to turn to God and go, listen, yeah. I think he's got a good argument, this foreman. So Moses, right, Moses turns to God, and um, in Exodus 5, verse 22, he says, um, Oh, Lord, why have you mistreated this people? Why did you ever send me since I first came to Pharaoh to speak in your name? He has mistreated this people and you have done nothing at all to deliver your people. <laughs> End quote. End scene. <laughs> I, we're going to have to start doing some sort of video part in this because I just watched Rusty transform into a really bad actor. He grabbed his headphones, closed his eyes, and he completely got into the role. Um, and it was bad. No, it wasn't that bad. You said I was a bad no, actor. Yeah, yeah, I did say that, but it wasn't bad. I mean, you kind of like, you kind of got like Avery Brooks. It doesn't matter if I'm a good actor or a bad actor. What matters, Scott, as you said a few episodes ago, is that I'm a handsome actor and good looking. <laughs> handsome oh, and good that's looking. Right, both. Yeah. So, uh, so, um, figure that's how it, you got the role. So Moses's lamentation to the Lord, uh, gets us to Exodus six. Can you take like a emodium for that or something? A lamentation? Yeah. That's for um, constipation. Oh, right. No, it's not. I don't know. Yeah, whatever, man. No, I'm just, all, I'm oh, just, wait, you I'm just diarrhea, rhyming right? now after last week when we were rapping. Was that last week? I'm just all about rhyming. rhyming but, by the way, rhyming, I, I, rhyming. I have to admit, I, have not, I did not listen to last week's edit. You know what's crazy? You mentioned that rap song. I had no idea what you were talking about. I was like, the message? And then we had like a whole five minute like thing trying to get to like what the song was. Did you leave that in? And then I, um, again, you're interrupting me. And (sighs) then I wound up like rapping the song and you were like, yes, that's the song. And it was the message. Um, That's like the song that I said, like without having any context. I was like, is that the message? Oh, nice. Nice. Don't push me. No, no, don't do it again, man. Don't do it again, man. (laughs) Don't, don't push your luck. <laughs> I know I'm doing like so. An, did you leave you know, that like in. in a sequel? How they like retread like yeah, all yeah. the jokes from yeah, the original, and yeah. it's just like why? Except in Airplane Two. Airplane Two was a very worthy successor to. Uh, well, it was completely one. different. They weren't on a plane. They oh, were on a space, space plane. shuttle. Space plane. <laughs> yeah, it was the space shuttle. It was basically yeah. a space shuttle with engines yeah. in yeah. space. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the scene when he said "danger vacuum" and he opened it up and it was like a Hoover vacuum <laughs> that tried to get him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I don't remember, but you acted that out quite yeah. well, yeah. much better um, than my. Uh, no, it, it wasn't bad. I'm sorry, I take that back. It was not your acting was not bad, but bad. All right, so he goes, yeah, you left, you, you're leaving us in a bad odor with the Pharaoh. 
Yeah. That's what he says to them. Well, the bad odor probably comes from the fact that they're like not showering. They're yeah, walking around like death. in the desert. It's hot, you know? right? it's, yeah, oh, my wild. God. Do you think they have like nighttime hours like during the summer? Like they get to work at night? In Egypt? Yeah. Because I know like in Arizona, like a lot of uh, like utility Well, they probably have like night crews. Like they're probably working like 24. Oh, yeah, right. But maybe not because it's dark. They don't have lights. Didn't they find like uh, batteries in the pyramids? Like they think they might have been like ancient batteries, like I, electrically. I haven't powered. heard that. Yeah, look it up, man. Is apparently they found things that they think were like electric lights. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. <laughs> <laughs> you know that meme? Uh, no. Oh, you never saw that meme? So you know that History Channel Dude, show it's, it's about the great aliens? Grandfather sent it out? And there's like that guy that you see and like he's got the, the crazy, crazy hair. The great right. guy, yeah. So it's like a picture of him. Like, from the interview, you know, like, from, like, mm-hmm. you know, one of the History mm-hmm. Channel shows. And the meme is where it says, like, I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, look look up the Egyptian batteries. Man. Man, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I don't know if there's any truth to it at all, but. I'll check it out. Um, so, yeah, they whine to God, like you, you just did. And um, God reminds them, I am God. He reminds him of the covenants. He reminds that he heard the groaning of the Israelites. Do you think God was Wait, interrupted? Wait, you missed the this? most important part. Oh, he reminds them about his magic hands. Oh right, yeah, yeah, the hands that will deliver them, right? Yes. And uh, do you think God was like eating dinner, and like his phone vibrated, and he looked, and he went, "Oh shit, Moses and Aaron, <laughs> I, 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 I gotta take this. <laughs> I gotta take this." <laughs> Hey guys, hey, I remember the covenant. <laughs> I remember Yeah. Yeah, we're dying down here. <laughs> and not only that, but he doesn't like when he tells them what the covenant is that he made with their ancestors, he doesn't tell them like the full story. Now it's like he's sort of reneging on like the full covenant because the full covenant basically called for the spreading of like the Israelites all over the world, like the stars in the sky, the like dust the, on the, the beach, the sand right. on the beach, something like that. Yeah. The grains of dust right. or whatever, right? But now he's saying that he established his covenant to give them the land of Canaan. Now look, that's great. You know, Canaan's like if you're nice. given a piece of land, um, that's great, but if somebody tells you, if you work for me and you do the things that I say, I'm going to give you like this land, this land, this land, and mm. this land, and then you work for this person, and then your child works for that person, and you're basically like in servitude to this person, and then that person's like, here's that piece of land that I all, you know, that I promised Good you. Good point, because when you first started saying that, I was like, yeah, they should be happy that you know they're getting some free land, but no, there was a deal made. Yeah, it, it was, was deal made, and it was so. like... Everything like he promised them everything. Do you think he covers the phone? <laughs> and he turns to the guy next to him. Shit, I did say that. <sighs> no, I think the guy that God is having dinner with is like, wait a second, didn't you probably? God's like, shh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Yo, whose side are you on, man? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, God's uh, scamming them a little bit here. He's saving face though. But yeah, in man. any event, he reminds them that you know I've got this covenant with you. And I've heard the Hebrews groaning because, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, God's always listening in when people are groaning. And he tells them, I'm going to deliver the Israelites out of slavery and they're going to know, you know, right. that it was me that did that. So this is a guy backpedaling at a staff meeting, didn't get the job done. And now he's pro- over promising. Like yes. he's like, oh, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 so he, he, they, he goes, Moses goes and tells the Israelites what God said, and they don't believe him. Yeah, well, why would they believe him? Their spirits him? are broken. Yeah. They, they, their backs are broken. They just, they're a mess. So <laughs> they're a mess. they don't believe him. And now God's like, uh, why don't you go tell Pharaoh to free the Israelites? Didn't and, they do this? <laughs> and Moses is like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> like, he's not listening to me. <laughs> And that gets us to the genealogy of Moses and Aaron, which is basically a list of names. Yeah, I did find something interesting. I just, there was definitely some mention of inbreeding in there. Somebody, somebody, somebody slept with their father again, whatever. It wasn't obviously a big deal, not a major character. Um, But then it keeps mentioning that Moses and Aaron, and it's the Moses and Aaron that we're talking about. 
It's the Moses and Aaron that were going to Pharaoh. It's the Moses and Aaron hour. Yeah, and they keep mentioning them like we didn't lose track of them. Like yeah. it's, I don't know if this was put in the wrong spot when it was edited. And there was something else interesting. He said he's going to bring the Israelites out of um, Egypt company by company. Right. I don't know what that meant. Um, Probably like everyone not all together bunched in. Like it'll be like. You know, like the ancient Roman army. Do you think it's like the boarding of a plane? Like, uh, yes. Pete Purple's persons with disabilities. First, first class first, boards yeah. first, right? Yeah, okay, all right. And that, you think they fought over that? They probably fought over that too, right? Like what? we're all slaves, but some slaves had it better than others. And they're like, oh, there they go, getting special treatment again. I'm sure there were like families that were pains in the ass that had to like be in a column, and they were like. We want to get the vase. Can't it's our grandmother's vase? Yeah. Do you think what, what, what accent was that? By I the have way? no <laughs> idea. <laughs> no idea what that was. Um, do you think there are people that are, are like the fifth company out, but the moment the plane arrives, they stand up and get in line, <laughs> and like everybody's got to go around them because they're not in the first group to be boarded. Why do people do that? I man? think that people have been people since the beginning of time. <laughs> and they stand in the aisle and they got to wait for everybody to put their overhead baggage. Aboard. Like, just just wait, man. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're, we're done with the names and the genealogy. And that gets us to Exodus 7. Moses and Aaron obey God's commands. Hmm. So Moses is 80 years old, right? Aaron's 83. Right. I put that note in, in there, too. And um, God tells him to speak to Pharaoh, and it's not going to work. God's, like, prepping him, like, this isn't going to work. Well, for, well, first, he's, uh, Moses says, this isn't going to work. Yeah. And then God was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to make you like gods at a Pharaoh, and Aaron's going to be a prophet. Right. So now he's going to be God by proxy. Well, some- God, is telling, God is telling Moses, I'm going to use extreme measures to make pharaoh um do what i say so do you think he was like god's like luke skywalker here and moses and aaron are like c-3po with the ewoks well i was thinking like luke's using his power so i was thinking another movie reference and i'm gonna read this quote from the bible and you tell me if you think it's star wars or another movie so god is like go to Tells Moses, you're going to go to Pharaoh. I'm going to harden his heart, but I'm going to use extreme measures. And I will strike down upon (laughs) thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. (laughs) Uh, do you have a wallet that says bad motherfuckers on it? <laughs> so that's basically like what God is telling Moses to tell Pharaoh. And Pharaoh like stops filing his nails for a second. He's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, say what again, motherfucker? <laughs> they speak English and what? <laughs> ah, all right. So, and I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart and... I'm going to start multiplying my signs and wonders. I'm going to bring people out um, with my big hands. And like, yeah, he's he's talking. He's making a lot of promises now. So then that gets us to Aaron's miraculous rod. (laughs) So the rod can do like everything, right? The the, the rod being the staff. The rod being the staff. That turned into a snake. Right. So um, God basically instructs them like when uh, you're with the Pharaoh, like do... Do your tricks with the rod, right? Yeah. Is that what happens, Scott? It is what happens. Like, Aaron <laughs> throws his rod down, it becomes a snake, and Pharaoh goes, hang on a second, let me get the wise men and the magicians before yeah. I respond to this. And he does. And the wise men and the magicians come. And then what happens, Ross? Uh, apparently, they're able to perform the same trick. Yeah. So they throw the staff down, yeah. and it turns into a snake. Yeah. So God one-ups them. Yeah, so then God does what? I A- forget. Aaron's snake eats their snakes. Oh, that's right. A- oh, well played. Well played, God. <laughs> so what are we talking about, Scott? Are we just basically witnessing optical illusions? Well, you know, they mention in the Bible that um, the magicians do it by their secret arts. 
So like these guys are they're I guess they're they're either illusionists mm-hmm. or they're ma- really magicians or maybe they got another god in their corner. I didn't know it's all very bizarre like god teaches these tricks in order to persuade pharaoh. So pharaoh's like, "Oh my god, look at what you're able to what your what your god is able to do." Meanwhile, he's getting like regular people to do it. Do you, is it possible? That God used these other dudes for some other shit in the past and taught them the same tricks? Is it possible that God couldn't find his recipe book? <laughs> and he's like, fuck, man. <gasps> I forgot like what my best like spells are. And he just remembers like the few like basic things. Do you think the spell for turning the staff into the snake was like taped to an old dresser? <laughs> And when he moved, he just left the dresser and somebody else became in possession of the dresser and they learned the magic trick. Satan took it out his way on his way out. I'll get this. Yeah, I get this. Huh. So it didn't matter. The snake ate the other snake. Right. Fowler was like, I don't give a fuck which snake ate which snake. Not impressed at yeah, all. Yeah, my guys snake. are able to do basically yeah. what your fucking Good. God is yeah. able to yeah. do. Yeah. Like they're on level three, you're on level four, but, right. but it's no big deal. So the Lord. Uh, yeah. I am. He he he, he uh, WYSIWYG ups the ante a lot here. And that gets us to the next section, the first plague. <laughs> Water turned to blood. <laughs> now this trick. As impressive as it is, right? God mm. tells Moses to meet Pharaoh by like the Nile. He's like, yo, Pharaoh likes to go. He he takes a morning dip, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're gonna meet him. You know, when his sister's not finding babies <laughs> right. in the reeds. Yeah. You're gonna go meet him and um you're gonna turn the fucking Nile into uh blood. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna turn the Nile to blood and then turn all the ponds all the rivers and everything in a stone or wood vessel. So anybody that has stored water, yeah, doesn't matter. That's you know anybody that was a, like a prepper, yeah, just for this kind of thing, their shit turned to blood too. So here's something very very bizarre. So Moses turns the Nile River and everything basically from the Nile that's touching the Nile, right? Yeah. It's just all blood kills the fish. It just it's oh, yeah, poison. Yeah, the fish all died. Yeah, yeah. it's basically poison because yeah. it's blood. It started to stink. Pharaoh summons the magicians again. Yeah. And they do the same thing. I didn't understand how they could. Yeah. If it's already a river of blood, what did they do? So do you think... Did they turn the Mediterranean no, into do blood? You, do you think they they like copied what Moses did or Aaron did? Blah, 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 blah. And said, oh, we just did the same thing too. Oh, you yeah, can't we tell that, because, yeah, it's, yeah, already because it's already blood. Yeah. Hmm. Either way, I thought... It was, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it on face value. I don't think they got into explaining how they duplicated it. Yeah, maybe but, like a bucket of water, and they did that. Yeah, maybe because I oh wait, but all that water would have been red, unless that water didn't come from the Nile. Maybe right. it was like it the Euphrates came, or right. something. All right, well, so well, no, the Euphrates was far away. It could have been from like whatever. I don't know a yeah. lake. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about rivers, man. Came from the Amazon, for all I know. Well, that's not about knowing rivers. It's about geography. Well, that's knowing <laughs> rivers. <laughs> Like, where they no, are, knowing right? rivers is like what's a river what's a tributary <sighs> so i can't even admit i don't know something without you pointing out i know even less than i'm admitting that i know don't know <laughs> wow man you are really <laughs> critical so all right i'm gonna take it at face value somehow they proved they could do the same trick right so pharaoh not impressed yeah. so a week goes by. god god goes back to the drawing board for a week he created everything in less than a week, yeah. but he needs to go like back to the drawing board. For yeah, this he's one. got to retool, like uh, the river of blood, and like making drinking water undrinkable, killing yeah. fish. Uh, that wasn't enough for Pharaoh. God's like rats <laughs> foiled again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that gets us to Exodus eight and uh, the second plague: <laughs> frogs. <laughs> frogs. <laughs> Now, okay, I'm gonna tell a little. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna digress. This is a piece of broken stuff on our whatever. Um, I took offense to this. That's because, from the wine bottle. No, oh yeah, it is right. Yeah. I've been playing with it. All right. Um, 
I take offense to this because my first word wasn't mom or dad or anything. My first word was frog. Really? And I have a stuffed frog and I still have it. It's still here. Oh, I know that His frog. Fr- of course you know that. You know, yeah. Anybody who's known me for any length of time knows froggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, you're saying you have an affinity to frogs. No, not really. I and that you don't like that God is using them in this way. Yeah. Now, maybe I am liking that he is using them. Maybe, maybe Froggy has more power than I thought. You now. like that? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep on this. I one. tried to imagine how many frogs there were because well, what the- God winds up doing is right. Like you know, they go through the whole rigmarole again. Like, and God. Now, did it rain frogs? To, didn't to, say that. To put them there, or do they... Well, that's... I'm asking you. What do you think? Do you think the frogs just appeared, or do you think it rained frogs, no, and they, then no, they, they fi- just appeared? They filled up the Nile, kind of overflowed the banks, so they started going everywhere. And he says, they're going to be in your river, yeah. in your palace, in your bedchamber, in your bed, yeah. in all your people's houses, their ovens, their kneading bowls... And, uh, yeah, everywhere. They're going to be everywhere. I, don't, I didn't imagine them raining. That's was, when Richard Gere took the gerbil out of his butt and was like, let's try a frog. Is that the same time they pumped the semen out of uh, Rod Stewart's stomach? <laughs> yeah. You remember all those, like, urban <laughs> myths? It was like, it's crazy how, like, a kid in California heard the same, like, stupid fucking, like, made-up rumor that, like, Peter Griffith and his family made up while they were, like, tied up. Before the internet, right? Like, how did Before they... Before the internet, man. Yeah. Like, how did these rumors, like, spread? The same ones across the country. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, so for those that don't know, in the early 80s, <laughs> the two prevalent, like, celebrity rumors were uh, Rod Stewart... <laughs> <laughs> sucked so much dick and <laughs> swallowed so much cum that he had to go to the hospital to have his stomach See, pumped. I don't remember it that way. I, I thought he like OD'd and in pumping their stomach, they also found some semen. No, I heard that he sucked so much dick and swallowed so much cum that oh, they had to pump his stomach. Listen, go big or go home. And um, the gerbil up uh, Richard Gere's butt. Uh, but that might actually be a thing, right? Like in, I don't like, think like in so. some pantyhose. Might maybe not Richard Gear, but that's something people do, right? Well, I'm sure once it was made up, someone <laughs> would try that's it. That's a good idea. You know, uh, it's like I forgot the. It's like Rule 42 or Rule 43 of the internet. You ever hear that? There's rules on the internet. So no, but like the saying is like Rule 42 of the internet. If you think of it. It already exists. So, like, you're like, I wonder if there's, like, a site where a unicorn is using its horn to, oh, Yeah, like, that's good. That's good. I guess where you're going. I get where right. you're going, yeah. Like, if you've thought of it, it exists. Hmm. That's rule 42 of the internet. I want to try and think of some really cool stuff that benefits me and see if I can't, like, find it and adapt it to yeah. me. That, quote, unquote, benefits you. Yeah, of course. You know, you know what we should try and do? Has anyone thought about getting together with a buddy taking a topic and like recording themselves and put it out on the airwaves like, that's a really good that. idea we should do that all right we have technology for that uh, pretty poor technology for that <laughs> but um all right so here come the frogs they're everywhere everywhere it, it's egypt is literally literally covered in frogs yeah and all of egypt too by the way the hebrews so the hebrews were also affected by the river of blood and, right, right. And now they're affected by the frogs as well, because all throughout the territory of Egypt, it's covered in frogs. So here come the wise men and the magicians again. Yeah. And he goes, and they duplicate it. Yeah, the same thing. Now, are there twice as now many, too st- many frogs, or they just say, we did it, you just can't tell our frogs from God's frogs? So in this particular case... God's frogs, <clears throat> that's the name of the band. As opposed to the river where you wouldn't be able to tell that they did it again. Mm-hmm. This time, you, there's no way but to tell that they did it again because I'm assuming it would double the number of frogs. I get, Yeah, I guess you can measure that, If right? they did something and people... Oh, so maybe with the Bloody River, maybe it got twice as crimson. You know, maybe they got they, super dark, got super extra bloody. dark. Maybe. Uh, maybe. But whatever is going on so far... These magicians are keeping up with God. <laughs> yeah. They, they've earned their money. Yeah. Holy shit. It's like they're playing a game of baseball against God, and it's like tied up in the bottom of the seventh inning. 
Like yeah, no. they're going. You this know, is Game Six of the 1986 playoffs for yes. the Houston Astros and the New York Mets. That's exactly what it is. Remember that Game Six? I like do remember six. that. It was like the greatest game Three ever. Three to nothing going into the bottom of the ninth. Lenny Dykstra leads off with a triple. Oh, yeah. We go into extra innings from there. Yeah. Then the Kevin Bass home run. He ran to first base like backwards, right? Like kind of like no, no, Kevin no, Bass. because he hit it down the line and really high. So he kind of was like, right when right, after right, he had, right, he right. wasn't like showboating. He was no, kind of no, no, like no, he wasn't showboating. Right, right. right. He, he was, was like, like following the ball. Yeah, he knew he was part of history. That was a good home run. Yeah, that was Too good, bad good they good lost. Yeah. <laughs> Suckers. So, um, Egypt is filled with frogs, and Pharaoh pleads with Moses. Yeah, he says, could you pray to your God for me? He's like, please get rid of the frogs. So now I'm thinking, all right, here's a guy who imprisoned and enslaved the Hebrews, realizing he got beat, and I'm th- at this point, I'm thinking he's got to change a heart. Yeah. You know, and it took him getting beat, but still, he changed. Pray to your God. I'll let you go into the wilderness. Get rid of these frogs. Yeah. So Moses um, tells him basically like, to, I'll go tomorrow. I'll pray for you and I'll ask God to get rid of these frogs. But please, you have to allow us uh, set us free. Yeah, like at this yeah. point, it's not about like, let us go and uh, pray for three days. At this point... It's about like setting the Hebrews free. Oh, I thought it was just free to go do no, this. No, I'm pretty sure at this point it's like it's beyond the sacrifice for three uh, days. You know what? No, you know what? Too big of an ass. Uh, yeah, I think he's pushing a little too big of an, Really? Yeah, I think he's So the too river hard. is blood. There's no <laughs> potable water. No. And um everything's covered in frogs, including like where you sleep, where you eat. Okay, so most living creatures are made up of a high percentage of water, so they could probably survive eating all these frogs. But how would you? How do you? How do you cook frog? Do you boil frogs? I don't know how frogs are cooked. Well, frogs are eaten. The whole frog or just the legs? I hear about frog legs all the time, but I mean, I would assume you can eat an entire frog. Why not? But do people? I mean, if you're desperate, you're going to eat anything. But do people? People eat like raccoons. People eat squirrel. That's some good eating right there. Right. So why not eat frogs? Exactly. Those same people, I'm sure, eat frogs also. Yeah, but when you run over a frog, there's like nothing left. There's a lot left with a beaver and a raccoon. Trash panda is good eating. Um, By the way, we went to high school with someone, and I knew that person had completely changed when we went to eat with that person, and that person was like, this is good eating. (laughs) You don't remember that? Yeah, let's not name names on. on I'm not on, naming any names. You don't remember trust this? Me, nobody from our past. Is we were to this at crap. Roller Roaster. It was someone that you were very close with in high school, like freshman year. I think me. Oh yeah. I was semi close uh, with this person. Yeah, yeah. And then this person moved away to another state. Yeah. And then they yeah. came back. We went to eat at Roll and Roaster, and we sat down. And that person was like, "This is some good eating." <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, damn. <laughs> What's up, Goody? I almost went to Roller Roaster the other day. Um, so, yeah. anyway. Is this still the only locations in Sheepshead Bay over there? That's, That's the only one I know. We, I, uh, I ate there this summer. So did I. Uh, no, last summer I ate there. Still good. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So, Moses goes. He yeah. prays. Uh, and the next day, uh, or whatever, the infestation died. The frogs died. Yeah, so so it's not this- like the frogs just disappeared. They literally, so God's like, on a technicality, God doesn't like disappear them. He just makes them all die and like Mm. everything stinks from frogs. Yeah, they started piling up dead bodies. Yeah, they got to like pile it up, right. It's like guys are going through the street with like wheelbarrows going, throw us your dead frogs. And um, they're piled up. I don't know. I'm assuming they burned the frogs. I don't know. Do you think they had to like hang sheets in the window to indicate they had dead frogs at a location that needed to be picked up? Like after Katrina? Oh, I was thinking more like medieval times. Oh, you know what? Katrina was kind of medieval after that shit. Yeah. Yeah. They like marked, they'd have like those <sighs> secret codes on the houses. Well, FEMA does that on everything, yeah. That's yeah. fucked up, man. Yeah. That's a moment of silence for the dead frogs. <laughs> Because they, listen, they're kind of innocent in this, right? It's funny. They're because like, yay, we're alive. When, when Kanye came out and he was like, George Bush Kanye doesn't came care. Out? About, he was like, George Bush doesn't care about gay people. Black people. And everybody like, about, I hate what to did I say? You. you said gay people. Oh, because you fucked me up. You were like, Kanye came out? 
So um, <laughs> he was like, George Bush doesn't care about black people. And everybody gave him shit for that. It turns out that's like the sanest thing he's ever said in his entire life. Yeah. Like everything else is bad shit crazy. Who who was next to him? The guy from uh, Mike, Mike Myers. Mike Myers. <laughs> the look like he was Myers. just like, whoa. Because <laughs> back then making fun of a president like wasn't the, like, like I mean, so easy. I mean, so at that acceptable. point we were like knee deep in Iraq and uh, uh, it was a mess. Yeah, poor frogs. So um, the frogs are all dead now. Uh, Moses fulfilled his end of the bargain, but Pharaoh is still like, I'm not like he he goes back Pharaoh's on his like, oh, word. Yeah, oh, everything's cool now. Yeah, well, fuck you, like, Scott. What what's the, the line from uh, Empire? I'm altering the terms <laughs> of the agreement. <laughs> Pray I don't alter them any further, or there something you go. like that. So, oh, or something like I, 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 I'm gonna guess what it is. Like you don't fucking know it by heart. Don't know. And if I get swamped with the uh, letters in the mailbox about this, I. Uh, All right. At um at libel the Bible on Twitter. Follow us at libel the Bible <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah. Um. So that gets us to the third plague because Pharaoh's still not letting people go. And this time, uh, the third plague, specifically, gnats. Yeah. And it goes back to like one of the lines you like. He was like, drive your staff into the dust of the earth yeah. and the dust will become gnats. Yeah. Um, the frogs, God just made that happen, right? He didn't instruct uh, anyone to strike a staff into the ground. Oh, shit. So why now do they have to strike? No, 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 no. No, there was a, let my people go, or you're going to get some frogs. He did say that. Aaron said that. Right. Whether he brought the frogs with some magic staff stuff. Yeah, he must have. He must have. Yeah. Okay. So um, now there's gnats everywhere. Oh, God. As bad as the frogs must have been, I'd rather have the frogs than the gnats. Sure. And listen, mosquitoes suck. But gnats, they just chew you for like an hour yeah, at sunset every day. Frogs aren't actively looking to eat you. Yeah. Gnats are just on everything now. Um, and this, by the way, is something the magicians who were called could not reproduce. Yeah. You know what? I don't think it's that they couldn't reproduce it. I think when the Pharaoh called the magicians and he was like, I want you to double the, si the amount of gnats, the magicians were probably like, this guy's fucking crazy. We don't want more oh, gnats. They're think, like, oh, oh, we can't do this trick. That's fantastic insight. O almost like the military commander that won't launch the nukes, right? Yeah, because like, it's man, it's crazy. Like, dude, yo. Wait, wait, you want me to bomb a church? Right. Wait, you want me to bomb a school? Wait, right. a medical facility? Wait, apartment uh, buildings? Oh, the I button's mean, not working. It's yeah, not working. Yeah. Like, like uh, just murder citizens online right. for bread? So, like, gnats. That is, would never happen, right? That's the red line for, like, the magicians. They're like, all right, we'll fucking double the blood in the river will like <laughs> double the frogs yeah but gnats are annoying yeah slapping gnats, you, that's when, fucking when you're hanging insanity. out with gnats you're literally having conversations with people and every three seconds you're slapping yourself yeah, to no, try and kill it's, the gnats it's, yeah you, I can't live like I can't live like that when I go to a lake house or some oh, shit like that it's worse. awful but it's only for like that hour around sunset. So I wonder if these gnats are out all day long or just like this sunset gnats. Bro, man, it's just fucking gnats like all, all oh, like the you're, time like you're everywhere. eating like pounds of them just by walking yes. through them, Yes, right? you're yeah. like a car windshield. Oh, wow. So yeah, they're like, this is the, this is the finger of God. <laughs> and yeah. the Pharaoh's still not impressed. Yeah, he still doesn't give a fuck this can, can fucking I, can, asshole. Can I go back to the frogs real quick? Did you ever hear about the experiment about the, uh, the guy who wanted to see how far a frog could jump? So, like, he slams the table, and the frog jumps, like, five feet. So he goes, I wonder what would happen if I cut one of the frog's legs off. So he cuts the next, cuts one of the frog's legs off, slams the table, the frog jumps four feet. So he cuts off another leg, slams the table, frog jumps three feet. Cut, how many legs did I cut off already? <laughs> three. All right, so he cuts off the last leg, he slams the table, he writes in his notes, frog went deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, as a child, uh, I was a joke I heard in my child. It was good stuff, man. Good stuff, good yeah, stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's get all the frog references out now. I mean, I don't it's know if we're coming joke. back to frogs. I want... That's a disturbing <laughs> joke that I've heard in your childhood. It's about <laughs> frogs having a leg cut off one at a time. <laughs> no difference Like the torture of an animal. 
No different than ashes, ashes, we all fall down. I mean, everything we heard in our childhood was crazy. All right. So after the gnats, um, the pharaoh, like, doesn't give a fuck. So now that gets us to the fourth plague, flies. Yeah, like, what the fuck? So the gnats are still there, right? No one got rid of the gnats. Oh, shoot. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Like, Moses didn't go and pray and get rid of, like, the flies, right? No. I'm sorry, the gnats. No. So the gnats are still around. Uh, and then God tells Moses, uh, go meet Pharaoh at the river again. Yeah. And, and he, ask to be free. Let my people go. <laughs> now you're going to get flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ex- well, except. Yeah, right, right. yeah. Yeah. This is where he makes a distinction. Right. He's like. Not where the Israelites live. Goshen. Yeah. Yeah. Upstate New York is not getting flies. I will not give them flies. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to distinguish my people from your people. And here's the weird part. So God is always instructing Moses to go and talk to Pharaoh, and Moses goes and talks to Pharaoh. In this part, he uh, tells Moses, go and tell Pharaoh to free the people, or I will infest them with flies. And then there's no section where Moses goes and talks to Pharaoh it just starts up with God infests Egypt with flies. It's almost like God. No, God's, no, he mentions that. Like, no. Let my people free or like you get. Oh, he's just. God oh, okay. tells Moses, this is what I want you to tell Pharaoh. Or I'm going to infest Egypt with flies. And then the next section immediately. God's like infesting Egypt with flies. There's no conversation between Moses and Pharaoh because God is getting antsy. God wants to fucking do these things. Or that shit's on the cutting room floor and it was a director's choice to make it even worse by being off screen. Like you don't see it happen. Or it's happened. And and you know. It's happened so often it's become like redundant at this point. Like you know he's going to go to Pharaoh. Right. Like that scene's taken place already. All right. That makes sense. All right. It was edited I like that actually. I actually kind of like that. So God fucking sends a swarm of flies. Swarm. They're everywhere except Goshen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then God commands Moses to make sacrifices to him on Egyptian land, right? No, 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 no. No, there's no. There's God wanted him to go three there? miles out or whatever it was, three days into the wilderness. No, Pharaoh says no. God tells Moses, "I want you to make a sacrifice to me on Egyptian land," and Moses is like, "Yo, bro." That's not cool, man. They don't like when we do that shit around here. They're going to stone us. I, I guarantee you, I'll I pull it up right now. I don't want to interrupt you, but I think Pharaoh was like, okay, you can make your sacrifice, but make it on Egyptian land. I think Pharaoh was trying to like compromise. No. All right, pull you're, it up. You're absolutely up. incorrect. I can be incorrect, man. Um, God was talking to Moses, and God is the one that commanded Moses <laughs> to make the sacrifice on Egyptian land. Right, we got time. We got time. We're winding down here. Really? Yeah, so so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to talk while I'm looking, so we don't have dead air. So um, Rusty is so adamant about making me look bad every chance he gets. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about, man? Get to work. Find that find that passage. Um, he did he did text me earlier in the day, and he mentioned that um. The same person who directed Star Trek, the motion picture, directed West Side Story. And I was like, wow, I didn't know Steven Spielberg uh, was uh, directing movies back in 1979. Um, man, I'm not good at this, man. A lot of pressure here. He's staring at his phone. Yeah, um, I don't know. Because I, I'm, I'm trying to listen to what you're saying uh, while I'm looking listen, at listen, my you phone. Can edit this out. You can edit this out. We can do the fast forward sound. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> edit it out. I like when you sound fucking stupid. It, it's, uh, it's good. I like it. Wow, that's fucked up. And I don't, and I don't know if you're entirely correct, but man. You might e- want to take right. some time. Either way, so <laughs> we'll, uh, at the beginning of next episode, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about who was correct and who was. And not. you'll fucking edit it out. I know how you do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so uh, I'm not uh, going to edit it out if I'm right. So I'm going to. So so I think Pharaoh said, "Go ahead and do your thing." Do it on Egyptian land. And but those aren't mutually them. exclusive. Pharaoh did tell him that. Pharaoh did like allow him to go on a three-day journey. I'm not saying he didn't. No, Pharaoh wanted him not to do a three-day journey. He wanted to do it in like the t- town square. And Moses was like, we can't do it because your Egyptians will find really? it offensive in those stones. I feel like once we get to the very end end of our readings, like we're always having like these disputes over like details. However, 
think I'm open to thinking maybe you're correct, where you are adamantly like, oh, man, you're fucking wrong. I'm going to pull it up right now and make you look like a jerk in front of our millions of listeners. Oh, as opposed to what you're doing now, making me look like a jerk, making yourself look all magnanimous. I'm willing to acknowledge the fact that I might be incorrect, whereas you're like, I'm 100% correct. Yeah. 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 You're such so, a humanitarian, so, Scott. So, so, so what is so offensive? Like, what is this sacrifice that is so offensive that the Egyptians would stone them? Well, it's not... What? Bro, do you remember after 9-11... When um, they wanted to build a mosque, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, whatever, wherever the fuck they I wanted remember, to build a mosque. Sure. You I don't remember. remember the shit storm? Yeah, I do. Right. So you don't understand what's offensive about one religion performing like its acts of worship in the um, midst of another but, dominant religion? But but in this case, all the, is there a re established religions here yet? In Egypt? Oh yeah, okay. sure. Like, well, I know Egypt the Egyptians were offended by the Hebrews. Period. They the, wouldn't eat with them. The Egyptians that, were but... polyth polytheistic, right? They believed in like many kinds of gods. Like Ra, the sun god, was one of them. Oh, that's right. Oh, sure. Yeah, I absolutely. I'm sorry. Isis, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like all, all the Isis different... was a princess. I don't think she was a god. Okay. Well, whatever. So you know, uh, they that was like their tombs. That's why they were entombed and buried with like treasures because they believed that they would like sail across, like you know, the dog men would like sail them across to like live with the gods and they had like, great masks, all that man. stuff. That whole Stargate culture, like that that, that look into Egyptian. I love like, that concept. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna point out something else. I saw that movie, Tripping Balls. Could you describe what tripping balls means to the rest of us that wouldn't know what tripping balls <laughs> would mean? It means you take a dab of LSD mm. and you trip balls. <laughs> All right, so did that make you like the movie more or less? Because I'm sure you saw it like not tripping balls at one time, right? Um, it's not a matter of liking anything more or less. It's not like you're if liking you're, it differently. It's not like if you're tripping, you're gonna like something that shit. Quite the opposite, because mm. you're noticing things. You know what mm. I mean. Okay. So it just it made me appreciate it more because I noticed a lot of things that I would not have, and then you know I've seen it subsequently after that, like sober, not sober. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. and it's so it um, still holds up. Let's get back to the flies. All right, doesn't the pharaoh like do it again? Like um, uh. Well, he's not going to be able to do the. They're not going to be able to do the sacrifice in in the town. They square. go through the whole thing, like the whole thing the that was thing edited again. out in the part before. Um, Pharaoh allows Moses to go and make sacrifices and pray for him. Right? Moses is like, "I'll only pray for you to get rid of like these infestations if you agree to let my people go." Um, Pharaoh's like, "Sure, sure, go ahead, go ahead." Moses goes and does it. The infestations go away. And the Pharaoh still doesn't release the Israelites. So I'm thinking the Pharaoh's fucking around, and in part two, he's going to find out. That's oh, what I'm thinking. He, he's fucked around, and he's going to find out. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so. I like that. And that's pretty much like uh, where this uh, particular section leaves Man. us. So it's a two-parter, you're saying? I think so, because the plague... How many plagues are there? Because we've done four. How many plagues are there? I don't know how many there are, but I know when I turned the page, there was another plague coming. Yeah. And I actually kept thinking, and I'm like, I'm going to say this because, like you say, everybody should know this by now. Everybody talks about the locusts. Everybody talks about locusts. And I'm like, locusts think, haven't come yet. I think I know how many days now that I'm thinking about it. Well, of course. Because I know what one of the plagues are. Locusts. I know. I know what one of the last plagues are. Locusts? No, man. Passover. Remember, like... Passover is a plague? No. Passover is the holiday that uh, denotes the fact that Jewish Jewish children were not killed during like the last... Oh, oh it's big. Don't, 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 don't talk about this. Bah, 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 bah. No, let's not talk about this. So, um, yeah, so I think this is... Uh, if I was editing this, I know how I, like, uh, I put the to be continued sound. How, uh, how, but to, you're going to do one to more be episode. Continued. Oh, you know what would be good? As, as uh, you know, my other responsibilities... So when we're, have, so when we're titling this episode, uh, when we're titling... The next episode we record, it'll be episode 13, part two. 
No, it'll be episode 14, but it'll be whatever title, whatever title, part two. So think long and hard about this title, man. Let's do this. And you know what? Maybe you're going to edit this one because, you know, I've had you editing all of them. <laughs> Maybe I do the next one because it's always nice when you see a two-parter directed by somebody different. And you can almost see like the different Is flavors it? of the. I, I don't know, man. Because <laughs> Star Wars ruined that whole fucking formula. No, that's not having like of... all different like no, directors. No, no, that's, I'm talking about like a series of like a television series, not movies. I'm talking uh, like okay, like you get a, like a two part get different like, visions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Like so we'll get your vision. Yeah, hey, I get Prepare the big drops for back. a blurry episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're good, man. All right, all right, peace, peace.